This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Haley is on assignment tonight covering Vice President Joe Biden's visit to the Sun Coast. She'll join us in just a minute. But first, let's get the latest on the tropics as Hurricane Matthew remains a very strong hurricane this afternoon. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan following its track. That's Bob. right, Scott. Some new developments as of 5 o'clock this evening from the National Hurricane Center. Florida now is back in play, and I'll show you that in a minute. This system is still a major Category 4 hurricane. Top winds at 140 miles an hour. And the satellite imagery is showing a little tighter eye, too, in just the last few frames. And notice Jamaica here. They're going to get some of this, but it looks like now it's a dead set right into Haiti in the south southwestern portion is under a hurricane warning now and they can expect the full brunt of the system say around 6 a.m. on Tuesday. Now the forecast path and track as I said continues to move northward tonight. This is at uh, 2 a.m. on Tuesday. You can see 140 mile an hour winds and we're talking gusts of possibly as high as 165 and then the eastern tip of Cuba where the mountainous terrain is not as extensive so it's going to maintain some pretty good organization here and the water temperature is still in the mid to upper 80s and the intensity is expected to stay as a Category 3, which is a major hurricane. And notice what happens. We, got, uh, we have a little bend now, more back toward the west. And that's a result of a lot of the reliable models shifting in that direction. In fact, the UK met, which is the United Kingdom meteorological uh, model, it shows it moving right over the east coast of Florida. So that's the reason why the Hurricane Center has now adjusted this further off toward the left. We are not in play at this point. However, you never focus on the cone because if it does follow that more easterly course, we're going to get some strong winds here and the possibility of even tropical storm force winds, depending upon how big that storm is. So we're not out of the woods yet. It's, it's unlikely but it's still there and it's still up in the air as far as that goes and uh, as far as the satellite imagery goes and the forecast models continues to show it off toward the north and as I said most of them are starting to bend back toward us we have some heavy rainfall around we'll talk more about that coming up in just a few minutes Scott all right thanks so much Bob Hillary Clinton getting some help on the campaign trail today from Vice President Joe Biden Biden's visit to Sarasota this afternoon coming as a new Quinnipiac University poll shows the Democratic nominee for president expanding her lead over Donald Trump among likely Florida voters 46 to 41 percent. ABC 7's Haley Wilgus joins us now live from the Robert L. Taylor Community Complex in Sarasota where Biden just wrapped up his visit. Haley. Scott, yes, he did. He spoke to the crowd for about 30 minutes this evening, and he's actually behind us walking through the crowd of the supporters who are left here speaking with them. And he started right with the importance of Florida in this election. He says it absolutely holds the key to a Hillary Clinton victory, and he urged everyone to make it to the polls, as we, as we have seen so many close elections in Florida. And then he went right into hitting Trump hard on taxes and Trump's comments on taxes during last week's debate. He says he feels they are insulting to Americans who are working and paying their taxes. And then he also touched on foreign policy. He said that the world leaders he meets with are worried about a Trump presidency. And now earlier, we also asked some Suncoast residents why they are supporting Hillary Clinton for president. Florida holds the key. No, no, no. I'm not being, it's not hyperbole. We win Florida. Hillary wins Florida. There is absolutely zero path, zero path for this man to make it to the White House. We need to make sure that we are compassionate, that we are not filled with hate, and that we will move this country forward. The two candidates who are vying for Joe Biden's job will be facing off tomorrow night during the vice presidential debate. Reporting live in Sarasota, I'm Haley Wilgus, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Scott, back to you. All right, Haley, thank you so much. In other news tonight, sheriff's deputies are investigating another murder in Manatee County that happened late last night. And as ABC 7's Kate Flexter shows us, more than a dozen people have been murdered so far this year in Manatee. She joins us live from the sheriff's office with more. Kate? Good evening, Scott. The sheriff's office has actually seen the exact same number of homicides in 2016 as it saw in 2015. But with three more months left in the year, there's some concern that we could still see that number increase. 
Late Sunday night in Palmetto, a driver discovered 18 year old Alexander Anderson dead on the side of First Avenue, apparently shot several times in his upper body. The case just one of many for Manatee County. On Friday, a homicide in the Oniko community left family members grieving and neighbors rattled. It's very scary. I don't even want my children to come outside. Apparently a common sight for that neighborhood. There's always things going on in this neighborhood, um, from fighting to shootings to break-ins. Um, it's just the neighborhood that it is. In 2014, Manatee County saw 13 homicides. In 2015, 15. And this year, already 15. Well over half of those homicides are drug or domestic related. In Angela Willett's neighborhood, Pride Park, Homicides are common. She was hoping to see that change this year, but her neighborhood saw three homicides on New Year's Day alone. Like we take, you know, two steps forward, we get knocked back six steps. She describes her neighborhood as a war zone. I call it living in Iraq. That's how I look at it. I really do. Stop the violence! Stop the violence! Stop the violence. In the past year, she's held several marches to encourage the community to rally against the violence. She says law enforcement is important, but change starts with the community. We're not going to give up on that. We're not giving up. That's where it's, you know, that's where it's at because, you know, silence is violence. It, it doesn't, it manifests itself to where the community is crippled. As for overall crime, though, we've actually seen a 14% reduction from last year. Live in Manatee County, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Kate, thank you. A woman handling money for a Bradenton Elementary School group is now facing a felony charge. 29-year-old Jessica Loriano, a treasurer with the parent-teacher organization at Seabreeze Elementary School, is accused of stealing more than $6,000 from that group. An investigation by the Manatee County Sheriff's Office reveals 59 unauthorized transactions between 2014 and 2016. She was using the money from the PTO for personal expenses, and this went on for well over a year. Oriano has been charged with scheming to defraud. That's a third-degree felony. The school district says she's been removed from her position as treasurer. The Caribbean bearing down for the effects of Hurricane Matthew. Straight ahead, an exclusive interview from Jamaica on what the island nation is experiencing so far. And later, a major milestone for a Suncoast school. We'll go back in history at Bay Haven Elementary. What does it mean when New South Window says Factory Direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct prices. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. Replacing your windows will not just beautify your home, but save you big bucks on your energy bills. I've done the research. I've seen the factory. New South Window is my hands-down choice. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, we make sure you get the most for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And right now, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Complimentary maintenance included. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is 
happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. We learn how to put more plants in at work and home, plus open arms, talk surrogacy, and taco day with Baja Boys Grill. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Governor Rick Scott wants Floridians to keep a close eye on Hurricane Matthew. He ordered a, a state of emergency in Florida, but vigilance and preparedness are even more critical right now for the people of Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica. The hurricane already blamed for four deaths. Millions in the Caribbean are bracing for strong winds and potentially catastrophic flooding. Jamaica's prime minister today underscoring the seriousness of the threat, saying Matthew will have a severe impact. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has family in Jamaica. She spoke with her cousin, Renee Walsh, late this afternoon. Renee, what is it like now? Um, it is just sizzling. So by tonight, 8 o'clock, um, it should be in Jamaica fully. Um, we had some rains yesterday, and they have been flooding. When you talk about preparation and, you know, things that were going on to coming up to the to the hurricane, what were you guys doing to prepare? They were, they were encouraging persons to go to shelters, those who live in flood-prone areas, and persons were stocking up on food items, and they were... Um, catching water and they were charging up their electronic devices. This isn't the first hurricane, you know, Jamaica, you get it all the time. Is there, is there anything different about this one that you guys are worried about? Persons are fully recovered from the last hurricane. Gilbert was category three, but this one is category four, but the wind speed is much stronger. And it has a strong chance of increasing in wind speed. So if, is everybody worried and everyone's taking it seriously? Um, some persons are taking it seriously because they have been going to shelter. Some persons are refusing to go to shelter because they want to protect their, their personal property. All right, Renee, thank you so much, and you stay safe. Bo Beth Yates talking to a family member there in Jamaica. And Bob is up next with the full forecast on the system and our wet weather here on the Sun Coast. Stay with us. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass and Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass and Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home with everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors. The Sarasota Glass and Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Annual wellness visits are important for healthy living. When you schedule your yearly exam, MCR Health Services is here for you. With over 25 healthcare centers, featuring multiple services and eight pharmacies, we are here for you. Call or click today. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota Flooring. And for a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents. But these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. This is a special health alert for seniors suffering with joint pain. If you have Medicare insurance, you may qualify for high quality support braces at little or no cost. I'm thrilled with my knee braces. Now, there is a simple and proven solution for seniors to get out of pain with state-of-the-art support braces. I barely feel any pain at all. 
braces for your knees and back, as well as your shoulders and ankles, too. I'm so happy with the quality of these braces. Call now, and you could qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I can play ball again, and it doesn't hurt. And because of my Medicare coverage, it costs me next to nothing. So call now. And because I have this red, white, and blue Medicare card, my braces have cost me just about nothing. It's true. You may get a knee, back, shoulder, and ankle brace at little or no cost. They qualified me for two knee braces and a back brace. If you have knee or back pain, give them a call. They can help. 1-800-476-8967. 1-800-476-8967. Well, Bob, you, we just heard from uh, Bo Beth Yates talking to a family member down in Jamaica. You have an update on the conditions they may face. Right. Uh, the thing is, is that it's moving a little bit east now, Jamaica. They're not out of the woods. They're still going to see a strong storm surge and heavy rainfall, flooding rains there. Uh, but as far as hurricane force winds, it doesn't appear that they're going to get that. They're going to get tropical storm force, no doubt. Uh, but the hurricane force winds are going to be confined to Haiti now for sure, certain. And then the eastern tip of Cuba as well will get the hurricane force winds. But no longer is there a hurricane warning in effect for Jamaica at this point. Here's a look at what's been going on with our weather. Lots of rainfall today. Uh, just around 2.30, you see it coming in at Anna Maria Island, and uh, this webcam catching it for about an hour, and about two inches fell in just a short period of time. And now more rain is headed in that direction and starting to develop already. Boy, it's been coming down, too, near Northport, Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, and near Englewood. All this associated with uh, just a lot of moisture, a little trough of low pressure in the atmosphere, and you can kind of see it all working its way off toward the west-northwest. even appears to be a little mid-level circulation right there, but you see that rain coming back now into Anna Maria Island and uh, stretching out into the Gulf. Venice, some rain, not as much lightning now into Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, or Northport. It was around, and again, you can see kind of a little rotation there in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. And then again, this is just a flared up again over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, uh, stretching all the way down into western portions of Manatee County. Lakewood Ranch, too, now. Some rain heavy there. A few lightning strikes along State Road 70. The ground fairly saturated after yesterday's torrential rain in the afternoon and evening, and then today's. Uh, we're talking uh, the ground very saturated, so the rain has nowhere to go except into some of the roadways and streets there. Uh, these are some estimates near Englewood over two inches, uh, near Arcadia, an inch and a half, Wachula, over an inch and a half, and right there near Ellington, uh, Ellington Mall, they had over an inch and a half in just a short period of time. This video was sent in by uh, Sherry, and she sent this in via Facebook, and you can see that truck having a hard time going through US 301 right there by the Outlet Mall. It just shows you how fast these storms have been making their way through and producing some very heavy rainfall. Even some small hail reported, and winds gusted as high as 40 to 50 miles an hour at the Rod and Reel Pier, which is at the uh, north end of Anna Maria. 78 degrees right now, clouds at the airport, and the dew point is at 70. The high today, uh, despite the clouds, still warmed above average at 89 degrees, and the low this morning was 73, our average low at 72. The statewide temperatures, Tallahassee, the warm reading at 88, 87, still warm in Key West, and in Miami. Temperatures have really cooled off, though. All in the low to mid 70s, even some upper 70s, though, still at Cortez. The Gulf of Mexico temperature now at 86 degrees, still warm there. Lots of factors still in play as far as what's going to happen with Matthew. We have a little trough of low pressure. This piece is going to head off to the southwest. We have a little trough over the Mid-Atlantic Coast states. We also have another high pressure ridge building in that may join forces with the one that's driving Matthew to the north right now. And if it joins up, that means it's going to bend more toward the west, northwest in time. And you can see another system that comes into play that wasn't predicted. This is a, a tropical low trying to develop, which may actually force that high pressure ridge a little bit further off to the west, which would then block this from going northward. So this is going to be a slow mover. It's not going to be around very long. I mean, I should say it's going to be around a long time. And we're not going to have a real good handle on it uh, as far as what it's going to do until it emerges out of the eastern tip of Cuba. A devastating storm for Haiti uh, begins tonight, especially tomorrow morning uh, when we're expecting winds up to 140 miles an hour. It's not expected to weaken as it makes its way off to the north. And you see here's uh, Jamaica right here, so they'll miss the full brunt of the storm. All of the central Bahamas under a hurricane warning right now. Hurricane watch in effect for the northwest Bahamas. And on this cone, as I showed you earlier, has shifted west. And we'll wait for the 11 o'clock advisory. It may shift even further west, uh, depending upon the forecast models. And the GFS, which is a good forecast model for the United States, 
is showing it right along the east coast of Florida. So watches and warnings may be issued for the east coast of Florida as early as tonight. So that could happen tonight, but more than likely tomorrow, depending upon the future path and track, at least projected by these forecast models. I don't like those other two either that are sticking there right on the west coast, although not as reliable. They're not as... Uh, intense or detailed as far as the information going into those models, but still it gives you a general trend showing that things are shifting west as a result of high pressure. And we're still expecting a major hurricane in this area on Wednesday and Thursday as it emerges off in the southwest Atlantic. And water temperatures are very warm uh, throughout that region. We'll get to the forecast right now for boaters. It looks like this. It's tough going out there right now, especially near the Sunshine Skyway. Northeast winds at 10 knots. Seas will be one to two feet with a light chop. Things should calm tomorrow morning. However, they'll be back again by the afternoon. Low tide at 847, high tide at 154. Strong storms continuing at least for the next couple of hours and then mostly cloudy, patchy fog developing inland tomorrow. Heavy rain possible, variable clouds, 50% chance for showers and storms. This really has nothing to do with uh, what Matthew is doing either, by the way. 88 degrees of the high temperature tomorrow. The extended forecast is calling for changing weather. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Tropics, obviously, uh, may change things around a little bit. But we could see some drier air move in over the weekend. Linda has much more. Hi, I'm Linda Carson. Coming up, we'll take you to Bay Haven School as they celebrate their 90th anniversary. Gold fever has once again swept the nation. And everyone is rushing to Florida to strike it doubly rich. Introducing the $5 million Gold Rush Doubler. We're doubling cash prizes for over $752 million in payouts. And 36 prizes from $1 million to $5 million. The Florida Gold Rush is on. The Florida Lottery, just imagine. Get to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today for deals worth celebrating during the Jeep Celebration event. Come shop the area's largest selection of Jeep Wranglers or check out a new Jeep Cherokee priced as low as $19,999. Stop by to see the stylish new Jeep Renegade starting at just $17,699 or drive away in a new Jeep Patriot for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPV. The official salon of ABC7. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. ABC 7's Linda Carson joins us now with one of the many reasons the Suncoast is such a great place to call home. Linda? Well, one thing that makes Suncoast communities great are our schools. One of our first schools, Bay Haven Elementary School, on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places, is celebrating a big milestone. Bay Haven Elementary School students are celebrating their school's 90th anniversary by dancing the Charleston, the most popular dance back when the school was founded, and singing the school's alma mater. Principal Chad Erickson says Bay Haven was built during the boom years following World War I by architect Leo Elliott. 
he built our schools based on the Roaring Twenties population boom in Southwest Florida, um, and we ne we needed a North Side school and a South Side school, and Bay Haven is the North Side school. It was built for 600 students at a cost of $77,000. The first six years of Bay Haven's history, the Great Depression hit Southwest Florida as it did the United States, completely decimated the economy. In 1933, Sarasota Public Schools closed due to lack of funds, but Bay Haven stayed open. The PTO organization at Bay Haven was so strong, they had enough parent volunteers and enough fundraising to keep the school open during the Great Depression. Because the parents pitched in. They worked in the kitchen, they solicited money from neighbors, they tried to have um, parents bring in tuition money. Bay Haven has had a number of firsts in Sarasota's history. Starting the first kindergarten in Sarasota County, um, we we're the first school that was desegregated in Sarasota County. And they had the first in-school library. Bay Haven is a magnet school. We require our parents, teachers, and students to sign a contract saying that we'll be engaged, saying we'll make good behavioral choices, and saying that we'll try our best academically each and every day. Students and staff say Bay Haven is like their second family. Everybody likes so nice to each other and they're like act like they, they are your family and they're thrilled to celebrate 90 years of serving Sarasota County students 90 years is so long um I think a long time ago my I'm not 100% sure but I think my great grandma went here and it was so so she said it was really nice coming here and I think it was pro it was probably really nice and I just love the school and I'm so excited about 90 years Parents are required to sign contracts promising to volunteer a certain number of hours at the school. And along with every subject, students are taught respect and responsibility. You see those words and hear them all over the school. And it's had a, a great reputation in our community for a very long time. Yes, it has. 90 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 90 yeah. years, That's yeah. That's Southside, too. I mean, I've talked to both schools yeah. and great schools. They're great people. All right. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. Our next news at 7 and then again at 11.